Well, I'll tell you, that was a power-packed first two hours. Dave Mustaine of Megadeth, then Jesse Ventura. I think it's one of the best interviews, if not the best, I've ever done with him. We're going to open the phones up in this third hour. Toll free to join us, 800-259-9231. What do you think of the Total Orwellian Society, street lamps watching you, listening to you, TSA setting up checkpoints, sticking their hands down your pants, fluoride in the water, Israel saying they're getting ready to hit Iran. Uh, he's trying to get permission before the Knesset. And folks are like, shut up. They're not going to hit. Just let us hit. Uh, all that's happening. Big, fast, and furious developments uh, on that front. Uh, they're, they're calling for gun bans and gun control because of their operation. Senator Feinstein and others. That's all coming up in this hour. A bunch of economic news. The incredible things happening in Greece. It's all coming up. And the toll-free number to join us. 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. By the way, I haven't even really plugged the money bomb once today. Usually, we start a money bomb a month before promoting it. We usually raise about one-fourth of the money before we even launch it. This year, we haven't raised one-tenth of the money we need to raise to hire some more crew members, more equipment, uh, syndication systems, a lot of things we need to put purely into the operation. So if you've not donated yet, we need a strong start officially kicking off at 11 a.m. tomorrow. That's InfoWarsMoneyBomb.com or just go to InfoWars.com and the whole top banner uh, is the InfoWars Money Bomb. Just click on that. If we scroll down a little bit, you can see how much we've uh, raised there. I think it's close to $30,000, which is great. Uh, but a lot of the equipment we need for TV, uh, $36,650.93. We need to go to $500,000. Because I've got a good $150,000 of equipment I need. I need to hire a second string uh, of people for the nightly news because that's a stressful job where they work. I don't know the guys are working about 14 hours a day right now. And at a certain point with this technical stuff, you kind of get burnt out and punchy. We need to have where one crew does the show you, you know, uh, every day and runs it. And the other crew is getting ready for the next day's show with certain things and then kind of you know, flip back and forth with who's actually on the deck of the aircraft carrier. Uh, they're doing the show every night. So we can also beta test and always get it off at 7, as we don't do some nights, because we produce so much. Uh, we need a second line here. We, our, our starters are always in the field, myself included. I've tried to groom people to sit here in the chair, but I guess no one can wear a camouflage onesie uh, like I do. <laughs> some of the ridiculous crew. It's all deprecating Alex Jones around here. It's the only way I'd have it. Uh, but uh, the, 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 office, the, the office uniform is a camouflage onesie. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny, but it is ridiculous. Jaron says, whenever I wear this camouflage shirt, he just imagines that up beneath here, I'm wearing a camouflage onesie. You know what a onesie is like you put on a toddler? But I, I, I will assure you, I, I'm wearing jeans. I'm not wearing a onesie. We don't want to start a new conspiracy theory. You know, I joke about stuff sometimes. Like, oh, yes, I'm a reptoid, or yes, I'm uh, this or that. And uh, it actually says, he, Jones, Jones admits it. He, he is a reptoid, or he is a... Yeah, Charlie Sheen and Alex Jones have come out and admitted they are Vatican assassins. Or, oh, our pressure's getting to them. They came out and admitted they work for the Pope or whatever, or they work for Israel. No, it's that it's funny. It's funny to say that I'm a black magic master assassin uh, of the Pope. The guy that actually says that, and I don't want to give him attention just because it's so nasty, but I probably should. I actually found a video clip somebody sent me where the guy that says I'm a Vatican assassin, warlock, commander, ruler of the 12th Goblin Fleet, says that the atomic bombs, you ought to ask him, I'm not kidding, that the, that the atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki were Jesuit priests up in Foo Fighter flying saucers doing black magic rituals, firing power beams down. Yes, yes. Now that's hilarious. That is hilarious, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest right now and admit it. I was, at, I'm actually 17 trillion years old. I'm actually a reptoid Vatican assassin, and I was actually there at Hiroshima and Nagasaki, out of the bob in the flying saucer with Louis Farrakhan, firing mega beams down on them. Visit infowars.com and prisonplanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day. To my daily radio broadcast, there's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.